Hey, it's uh, Paul Newnham here, the Director of the Sustainable Development Gold 2 Advocacy Hub. Um, it's really great to be connecting with the Sun community. Um, COVID-19 and uh, the crisis that the world has seen around this pandemic has changed uh, life for many of us. Um, it's exposed challenges in the food system and in our health system that have impacted and touched many different parts of our lives. As we go forward in thinking through what we advocate on as we head towards this decade of action on the Sustainable Development Goals, we need to think through some priority areas around short term and the long term. So in the short term, obviously, um, supporting the health response led by the World Health Organization is absolutely critical. And while we do that, we also need to think about the work that we're doing with local farmers and food producers that have become under, under pressure in this environment. And that's to avoid food loss, avoid waste in this challenging time with communities under lockdown. We also need to ensure that continued access to nutritious food for the poorest households is made available. In the longer term, we need to move towards thinking about how we rebuild post this shock and what comes out of it. And that means we need to look at um, people getting sufficient access to nutritious food. So building nutritious food into social safety net programs. We need to look at how we work to strengthen food systems to help them become more resilient, climate friendly, nutrition orientated and inclusive for all. We also need to think about how we adapt diets and farming methods that work with nature and reduce resource depletion in order to prevent pandemics becoming more common. Like any crisis, it's really important to use the crisis to actually learn and to think about what we want to build into the future and how we can kind of ensure and maintain that nutrition is high on the agenda for countries and organizations during crises like COVID-19. Just like the food crisis in 2008 shifted the food system and the work that we do, uh, so this COVID-19 crisis we need to learn from. So I think some of the key things that we need to learn are that our food systems are global and interdependent. It's vital that we keep our supply chains moving and keep borders open to trade. And that where we need to invest in food systems and empower farmers around the world, we need to do that globally. We need to see a way to build more resilient, sustainable food systems everywhere. Nutrition is really important in the response effort, especially in the long term, as healthy, nutritious diets lay the foundation of a strong immune system. A well-nourished population is the first line of defense against future pandemics and a key prevention method. And so this is something that we need to prioritize in our um, advocacy messages, in our program development, around the world. If we're going to achieve our the sustainable development goals and be best placed to have healthy, thriving populations around the world.